Right. I think we're live again. Um, I'm just going to make sure that, that we actually are live in a second. Um, so hopefully that's helped. We've uh, turned off some some Wi-Fi here. Oh, Trevor, would you mind opening the door as well, just in case? Oh, what? In case that affects the signal. Oh, I see. Sometimes if you have water, it's just the signal. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, turn back. Okay, I believe we are loading the video. We are live. Okay, brilliant. So, <laughs> this has become a rather fragmented little demo, but I'll just rush through it now. So you can see there are a few different parameters on George. Um, no, go go to the shuttle. Oh, is that new? Uh, that that was that was your thing. Yeah, oh, I just need to get later. So. Right. So yeah. that's um, that's George without any effects applied. And over that we have the color. Then there's a shadow which you won't see here because that that's um in the shadowy area. Um, and then there's the light effect on top of that. And that's what makes George look like he's more in the scene. And that's what I've been working on. Which, and the shadow. Yeah, the foot, foot shadow as well. Sorry, I'm finding my mouse now. Very confusing. Right, now we're back. Ta da! Um, so, yeah, very exciting stuff. I've really enjoyed doing that, which has been brilliant. And I really have to do the same for part two. Maybe a little bit of scripting if, if there's um, a bit of scripting going. Um, so, so that's what where I'll be up to, and then I'll be a mum for a bit, and then hopefully I'll be back <laughs> for Broken Sword 7 or something. <laughs> um, and now we're going to move on to live questions. Um, so, Alex, please send us some live questions. Questions. Can I also interrupt while we're waiting for those to say that it's been an extraordinary experience for us because we're a small team, I think, um, it was clear from the video and, and all along. And before we were just writing games as, as developer, and that was fantastic. Um, but now we've, uh, with a still with a small team, we launched Kickstarter. Uh, obviously, uh, delighted to communicate with, with you guys. Um, we've taken on the role of a publisher as well, which means that we um, organise the PR with the with the, um, with the magazines. We uh, are in the process of uh, applying for age ratings, for example. Um, we're talking to retailers, so there's an extraordinary. Normally, you'd have a, a, a publisher with you know dozens, if not hundreds, of people, and we're a tiny team doing all of these things, and it is very, very exciting. But if some of you guys feel that we haven't given you as much attention as you deserve, then you're almost certainly absolutely right. And apologies, but just please bear in mind that we are we have a huge amount going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. I've never seen so much stuff. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. It's crazy, isn't it? The, 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 big, the big, big difference is that because we, we have a system where people uh, come together specifically for the project, um, we don't have the nightmare that we would have had with all the previous games where we're worried about what is coming next. So our focus is absolutely on this game. Um, and new ideas are just sort of circulating in the back of our minds, but our focus is on finishing this. Um, whereas previously, certainly, certainly I would be pitching new ideas to publishers in the hope that they would accept it so that we'd have something for our, our large team to go on to. Yeah. A lot of people have been asking you about what you're going to do next, haven't they? They, they have. They, they, they have. And um, I mean, we, we, we're we talking to Dave Gibbons about potentially doing a new Beneath the Seal Sky, uh, potentially something new on the Broken Sword, or potentially something new. But what would be lovely would be to, and I think as we get into, as we get towards the end of part of the episode two, then that's when we need to start wrapping things up. But this isn't, there isn't this requirement, there isn't this requirement to go straight on to something. Yeah. Because that's, really, really hard work. Because the, the, the key point is at the end of a project and the beginning of a project. So just when, in a film or whatever, you'd be ramping down and taking a month off, we're actually reaching the one of the most important parts, the beginning of the project. So, you know, for us, it's, it's, it's just great that we're not having to follow that route. So, so hopefully there will be much more focus 
on the end of the game. But genuinely, we haven't decided what we're going to do next. Mm. Uh, but speaking we of, but we have plenty of ideas. Sorry. Speaking of the current game, uh, Marty would like to know whether uh, George pretends to be someone he isn't again, such as a police officer or a pen. He does sort of, doesn't he? He sort of does, but not this. This. Yeah. Well, he, he, he puts on a funny accent. No. He, oh, does he? He, oh, he lies a lot back in the years, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've forgotten that bit. Uh, you know, 13. Do you know the bit with the mirror? Oh, you're right. I like that bit. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. That's really fun. I thought you were just being coy then. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 my brain is fussing. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's really fun. What about a slightly a, That's more... a great question, actually. That's a great <laughs> question. Of course he does. It's a great question. How do you know? <laughs> it's kind of what George does, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Why about who he is to get his A slightly more morbid question from Kurt. Um, can George die in this game? That is a great question. We are, have every intention of allowing George to die. Um, but actually, there were so few instances in which it actually made any sense that we made the decision not to let him die, because to let him die would have been to change the design to make that happen. So as it happens, he doesn't die, but we're not worried about him dying. Mm -hmm. um, so there was definitely we... some very tense moments in the game, so it's oh, not yes. like, it's not, I know in the previous games, like uh, at the docks in DS2, uh, when you can get shot, uh, that's you know a pretty tense moment, and there's definitely that kind of tension, I think. It's like what that, yeah. yeah so. But it's not. There's no dying. No, but it was never a big decision not to have him die. No, it was, it was just it was just the way the design turned out. Really. Mm -hmm. um, Leonard would like to know whether we get to slay a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. Um, I, I, I still, you know, I, I still get angry about this just this morning. And I wish we'd made that dragon in Broken Sword 3 semi-transparent and ethereal so that it was clearly in George's mind. And that probably would have worked better, wouldn't it? Because I think that dragon was my idea and it was meant to be like a dream sequence. Kind yeah. Of thing. It was meant to be like, you know, uh, remember Excalibur? Then we yeah. used to watch like every yeah. game. It was meant to be like the kind of feel of that. And it, and it kind of turned a bit too literal, didn't it? It did. But the other thing, of course, is that when we wrote the first one, we talked about a trilogy. And then we wrote a second one, and we were fairly confident that that was it, because Virgin didn't want to commission any more games. And then when THQ commissioned, you know, a third one, we knew that that was going to be it, you know, because, and so we thought, right, we can come to a really epic conclusion. Yeah, and, then, and then <laughs> THQ said, we actually did make quite a lot of money out of this. And, and we said, well, we didn't, but, you know, we'd be delighted to do a new game. <laughs> um, and so four came along, and now five. So. That the, 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 the dragon did specifically go in because we really thought that that was going to be it because we said there was going to be a trilogy. And we were delighted that we had the opportunity to write three. And now we're delighted we've had the opportunity to write five. Maybe six. Maybe six. It'd be fun to say this is a six part and we're going to sort of trilogy. <laughs> yes. Um, so, uh, Charles, people would really love to know whether you are doing another Christmas video because apparently it's better than the Queen's Beach. <laughs> oh, how lovely! I wasn't planning on it, but should we do that? Yeah, go okay. for it. Yeah. Okay. Well, the answer. Last year. Oh, I have to watch it again. Yes. No. Definitely. Very definitely. Yes. Do you remember <laughs> the thing that were, were the like reindeer in the background or something? It's going to be like an elf yourself. Yeah, no, that's, I think that's a, that's a great. I don't think you want to see me dancing. <laughs> well, although I think my children would say I probably do dance like an elf anyway. So <laughs> I think every Christmas day you should have a, a Charles five minutes in the middle when we when we stop to reflect. I'm very flattered. No, I'm absolutely. We'll, we'll make sure we do that. Okay. We have um, Chris Chris Brooks who um, makes all our films. Mm -hmm. He he actually put together the Kickstarter video. And he's, he's brilliant. He lives locally. He lives about five minutes away. And it's fantastic because he, he one of the reasons that we were able to, when, when people do Kickstarters, the, the general consensus is that you should make your videos in advance before the Kickstarter starts. And I felt that that was a really bad idea because you know, people aren't stupid. They, they know if, if they're real or not. And, and if you make it in advance, then you're predicting, you know, go, guys, we've got the 25%, we're so excited. Um, 
and, and it's really great, and you can't say any more. But, but what was, by working with Chris, we could basically plan it in the morning, film it in the afternoon, he'd work all night, and then we'd release it the next day. So the turnaround was absolutely unbelievable. So the Christmas video will be like that. The Christmas video that we've just decided we're going to be. <laughs> what about the next code jam? Well, why can we know that, don't we? Well, yeah, that's going to be next week then. But, but will that be for everyone? Because I assume we'll want to invite oh, all the backers. Yes, we will. Mm. Do these guys mind if we invite everybody? Because I know that they're... they're... Yeah, do you mind if, if we do a, a live stream for the whole backer community? Yay or nay? Alex yeah, let us know. Let, let, let us know, and, and 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 if you feel that that we shouldn't, then then that's absolutely fine. And if you think we should, then then we will. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> and then there would be another one, possibly before the release of the next game. Yeah, just yeah, a, a more private one. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, Marcus Gangster Marcus has been. Very, uh, very observant. He said, I noticed you've changed the official title of BS5 from Bro Broken Sword the Serpent's Curse to Broken Sword 5 the Serpent's Curse. Why is that? Or well, why haven't you named Broken Sword 5 in the first place? BS3 and 4 aren't numbered sequels either. Because there are so many now that we're going to number them so you know which one is which. Yeah, that's a really good question. The subtitles kind of sound similar. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, 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 we very deliberately didn't, as you say, didn't number three and four, um, and then very deliberately didn't number number five, and then realised that actually they were all merging into one. Um, and you, know, you look at something like Final Fantasy, and it's, it's you know, I love Final Fantasy seven. Um, Final Fantasy seven was, was, you know, was wonderful, you, you know, I, I don't even know what, I don't even remember what the name was. But, but but when you get beyond a certain number, then um, th then it's easier to remember the number than the title. Yeah, particularly since we've also got Baphomet School in German, Chevalier de Baphomet in in uh, French, and then you've got Italian and Spanish as well. So but also, I think everyone just talk in terms of one for each of them. Yeah, they do. Yeah. But that is very observant. I, we we we'll get try and sweep that one under the carpet. But, uh, I, guess we <laughs> I think we always succeeded. Almost. <laughs> Close call. Um so uh, I don't know if we know this yet. Uh, Phoenix Studios would like to know whether what the iOS specs are, will it be iPad 2 compatible? I think iPad 2, yes. I would think. Let's see why not. Not not the not the first one, but the iPad 1 probably won't just the, the chop the off suddenly. Um, but I don't see, uh, there's also a texture size thing, but uh, as far as I know, an iPad 2 should be okay. I've been running it on an iPad 2, so it's okay at the moment. Good. And then uh, final question from Haddock. Uh, Haddock wants to um, this is about the beta. Is it coming out today or tomorrow? Will we get the serials in an email? How is that going to work? It, it was going to be today, uh, it should be tomorrow. It goes up to Steam OK and it works and we get the codes and we'll send them out tomorrow. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. And I think there might be a slight delay depending on where you are on the list as to whether or not you get them straight away, but it should only be a couple of hours difference, not a time difference. Is it? Yeah. I know quite a few backers uh, have had problems receiving emails. So if you don't get an email from us, say by Wednesday with a code, you should probably get in touch uh, with. Triana on info at revolution.co.uk. Oh, and also you've got to fill in as well for the codes. Yes, yes, to go on the back of the back of the panel and fill it in. I know a lot of people have emailed about that and we're trawling through those at the moment. Um, but do you, and fill in your, your shipping details as well if you haven't already done that because that's preventing us from updating the display name for the credits. So, uh, there's one other thing I was going to say to the child, which is I received an email from. Um, a fan the other day who had a letter from you that he'd had since he was 11. And I thought, oh, no, maybe, uh, probably, well, I didn't ask, but it was from the original game when he was 11, and now he's probably in his 30s. Wow. Oh, great. So, That'll be worth something, right? Yeah. But there's all Beatles left. He kept it. <laughs> bless him. Bless him. I'm, I'm delighted. I'm delighted. Somebody actually sent me um, an email, and they had emulated my very first game called Adventure B on his early 81. And send the emulation through. And somebody else, and I'm sorry that I've forgotten the name because uh, he's a Facebook friend, 
had original artwork from his art paintings. They have this original. Now, I would have thought they'd go, I thought they'd gone and skip. And I think it's great that actually people not only have this, but they realize that it's artwork from those early days. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Good. 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 Right, I think that brings the Kaojang to a close. Um, yeah, sorry, normally we have a little bit more energy, don't we? But I think that, that really we, we have been, God knows, we have been working every hour that's available. So uh, the apologies for the black rings. You've been quite energetic today. <laughs> <laughs> no lack of energy there, Charles. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's it's been, I think it's been a good coach. Jam. It's been great to do this a week before release. I'm really excited about the game. And I know everybody else is really excited about it too. How would you describe the atmosphere currently in the office? Oh, it's, it's a really positive, determined one. Everybody is very ambitious. Everybody's got very high hopes. Um, it's great. And it's, it's a great team. We've got about roughly half the team is people who worked at Revolution previously. Uh, and it's great. You know, we've got Switcher next door, of course, Andy, and you know, myself, and Tony and Noreen, and, and, and a bunch of other people who's there. Uh, Nana, who was here today, um, and a few other people who I haven't mentioned. Um, and then half the people are new, and they've come in and they've brought new ideas and, and new skills. Um, and it's just a very good mix. It's a very good mix. And then, and then what will happen is once we finish, then people will go off and then people will come back together again. And some people won't be available and new people will come in. It means that actually you get a turnover of people bringing in new ideas and keep, keeping, hopefully, um, everything fresh and alive and full of life. Mm. Vibrant. Vibrant. Um, so that brings our code jam to a conclusion. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks so much, guys, for, for being here tonight, and thank you, Triona, for joining us. And thank you. Uh, so this will be my last code jam, but this is not the last code jam oh. ever. <laughs> you say that. Yeah, you know, I say yeah, that. I definitely keep you away. <laughs> <laughs> so I keep you saying it again, my time. Special yeah. appearance. Yeah. <laughs> Special guest star. Uh, so and, and thank you guys for joining us as well. And I hope you have a great evening or night or whatever it is. Yeah. Is it a night or an evening? Well, it depends. In Europe, of course, they're an hour ahead. Yeah. So in, rest of night. In the US, um, uh, five hours behind. In, five hours behind in New York. Eight hours behind on the East Coast. So. Wow. So good afternoon to everyone. Have a great time. As to what day it is, it could be anything. Well, in Australia, of course, it's tomorrow. So. Oh, this is so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.